to look at it. that Lawler had got a chance to go for a World Heavyweight Championship match. Then Lawler came out to help Rich, but it got him disqualified later on. Rich cost Lawler a match, according to the King. So now two guys are upset at each other. It's going to be a while when we expect. And Lawler's on top. Rich is on top now. And we got two double tough guys. Now, Lawler, being challenged by Rich, Rich says, hit me right here. And Lawler blasted away at him, caught a left one. Rich coming at him, the referee in the way. Lawler trying to get at him, the referee trying to keep him. Man, let me tell you, we got a fight going on here. Lawler on top, now Rich is. We got him rolling all over the Memphis Mid-South Coliseum. Lawler with a fist. Jerry Calhoun trying to keep it going clean. Man alive, let me tell you, a pushing match between Lawler and Rich. And now Lawler caught him. Yes, sir. The place explodes. And as I keep saying, the tempers have been lost a long time ago as they came into this match upset with each other, and they're going at it, Bruce. But oh, man. Rich really blasted. Now Rich is back in the corner by Lawler.
Bill Lawler? You didn't play no rookie of the year, did you? You wrestled a seasoned veteran. You know, just like I said, you had never beat Nick Bockwinkle. You didn't beat Tommy Rich tonight. You know, what did the master to the king, man? The king, everybody's champion. He pulled his strap down. What did you do, king? <laughs> you fell flat on your face, and everybody went, oh. their mouth fell open. They didn't think the king could fall down. I'll say one thing. I took you for granted. You fought like you was fighting five, man, when you fought me, brother. Because I tell you what, I went in there, I give it everything I got. You know, and used to when Tommy Rich first started wrestling, it had been a different story. You may have whooped my tail. But the thing about it is, Jerry Lawler, just like the Super Bowl, you was playing in front of all of your people. And what did you do? You pulled the strap down. The king's big famous thing. He goes crazy. But what happened tonight? What happened tonight in Memphis, Tennessee? Every one of these people, I'll tell you what happened. Every single person in this building went away talking. Jerry Lawler pulled his strap down and fell flat on his face. Tommy Rich whooped him. Lawler, just like I said, you're a washed up, clumsy, klutz, has been. Tommy Rich is here to stay people's champion, and I guarantee you, you didn't beat me, Lawler, so I don't know why, I don't know why in your head you think that you can beat Nick Bockwinkle, because you can't. You prove to the people you couldn't beat Tommy Rich. In my book, I think I beat you because we was playing on your home field, Lawler. Just like the biggest football game in your life. You know, I always heard, I've heard of drugstore cowboys, but I always heard Jerry Lawler was a drugstore football player. Cleveland Brown fan, man. Who cares, Lawler? It's you and me. Two people striving for the same thing. I ain't got to go out no good side, bad side. It don't matter because all the marbles is on the table. Lawler, you're in your 30s. Tommy Rich is in his 30s. It's the last hurrah, brother. And you think about it. You think about it long and hard when you hear what I had to say. Because just like I said, it's either you or it's me, Lawler, and you can't whip me. You proved to everybody in Memphis tonight you can't.